Hi friends, welcome to Oracle Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see aliases. Now, this Oracle aliases can be used to create a temporary name for columns or tables. In Oracle, these aliases are used to make column names more readable. And one thing we have to keep in mind, an alias only exists for the duration of the query. Right, we will see some examples to understand more about aliases. Here we can see our table empty details. Suppose here we want to see the annual salary of the employees uh, using this column M salary. So here we can see the query for that. Select, we will give M name, then we will give M salary into 12 so that we get uh, annual salary from table name is m details we will run this query and we will see the result in this result set we can see the second column that is m salary into 12 uh, this is a derived column uh, from this uh, existing column m salary here we can see the name of this column it's m salary into 12 so whatever we given in the query here we can see that so it shows as it is here so here we are going to create an alias uh, I mean a temporary name uh, for this uh, uh, derived column that is MB salary into 12 so that uh, this uh, column will be more uh, readable more understandable here we can see the modifications in this query here after this MB salary into 12, we are going to give the alias. We have to give as, then we have to specify the alias. We will give annual salary from MB details and we will run this query. And here we can see the result. Now here we can see the name of this column. It shows annual underscore salary. We will see one more example for this column aliases. You will give select M name. So for this M name, I am going to uh, give uh, an alias as we are going to give employee name. And here we can see I given a space uh, for this uh, alias employee space name, comma. Then we are going to give emb salary from emb details. We will run this query and we will check the result. Here we can see we got an error from keyword not found where expected. Here, whenever we give a space for the alias uh, that we have to put in double quote. Here we are going to put double quote for this employee space name and we will run this query and here we can see the result column alias is employee name now we will see table aliases suppose we want to see the columns of two different tables so here we, we have to consider one more table uh, here is that it's emp select so chart from emp here we can see that table so from this emp we want to display uh, e name and uh, from this table that is emp details uh, we want to display the emp salary we will see the query for that we have to give select so from the table emp we want to get e name then from the table emb details uh, we have to get emb salary from both tables emb and emb details 
we will run this query and here we can see the result actually this concept is called joining uh, two tables uh, we will see this concept later so stay tuned sure in this query we can see uh, for each column so we specified its uh, table name here we can see its uh, emb dot e name and this emb salary is from emb details so here what we are going to do we are going to shorten this uh, table name using alias so uh, we will make the necessary changes here here for this uh, emb we will give the alias as e and for this emb details we will give ed now here we are going to uh, change this uh, table name to a uh, table alias uh, instead of emb we will give e dot e name and uh, for this emb details we will give ed dot emb salary now we will run this query and here we can see the result here we can see the queries and its output we have seen friends in this video we have seen column alias and a table alias if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below and we will meet again with the next video thank you